Hello all. Here's a we're going to do a short tutorial on three point linkage. So uh, Alan is going to put this uh, power harrow, our Lemkin power harrow, onto the back of this tractor. So we're going to do a step by step with uh, attaching the power harrow to the tractor using the three point linkage. So Alan has reversed the tractor back. Okay. Uh, and the key is, like I said on the trailer, is to make sure you sort of reverse the tractor back as square as you can. Okay, and you're aiming for these lower link, okay, to be lined up with these linkage balls. Okay, now the beauty of, the, beauty of these modern tractors is, is that we've got external controls. So we can use these buttons here, okay, to lift and lower. Okay, which Alan is going to use now. He's got the key in his hand. So as you can see, we're you know we, it is very important to follow safe stop. Okay, switch off the tractor when it isn't needed. Okay, and remove the key. As students, you will you will get used to us remo removing removing the keys. So Alan's going to go for the inside of the cab because he's lined up. So what he's going to do? Oh no, he's going to join this now. Okay, and he's just double checking to make sure that those arms are lined up. Just slowly, just make some minor adjustments and lift, and lift the lower links into position. And lock them in place and clear. This tractor has something called quick hitch, which is very, very common on a lot of tractors now. Um, a lot of the smaller tractors, uh, or older tractors, if you're into your classic tractors, okay, would have the uh, fixed balls, okay, which can be a little bit more difficult to hitch up the, uh, the implement. So our next step, okay, is to put the power takeoff shaft on, okay. Now. As we've already done, we've done our pre-start checks, and that PTO guard, okay, is um, is uh, fit for purpose. It's fully guarded. It's got PTO chains, and it is um, fine for, for use. So what Alan is doing, he's attaching the end of the shaft onto the actual PTO of the tractor. PTO power takeoff, okay. With the engine off and the key will be in Alan's pocket. Okay, so that slides onto the shaft with a distinctive click that you know it's on, and just make sure that guard is in place with the PTO chain to be attached as well. Okay, so we're happy with that. The next thing we need to do is attach the uh, top link. Okay. Now on this tractor, the top link ball, we, we sort of keep in the toolbox, um, sometimes as we known, where that top link ball will fall out. Again, this is a quick hitch top link. Um, some tractors still do use the conventional type where it's a fixed ball, um, but this tractor um, has the capacity to, to have the quick hitch, which makes it a little bit easier because you can put the, uh, the linkage ball on the machine, on the implement. Okay, and all you have to do is lower, so it's got a lift, lower it down, okay, adjustment, adjust it from the middle, don't just adjust one end, okay, so we adjust that through, do a few turns, okay, lift up the clip, and hopefully that fits in nice, and then just a little turn of the top link, okay, now what you could do when you get to the field is you adjust the top link, Make those make those um, adjustments for the for the actual uh, power harrow, which you would do um, just to make sure when it's sitting level and work. Also, if you're going down the road, just make sure your stabilizers are nice and tight on the tractor. But all in all, that's a good. Okay, and hopefully, hope, hopefully that video is useful on how to hitch up a three-point linkage uh, implement to the tractor.